friends, I'm Zoe. Oh, those were starting to get heavy. Do you know why I have all these donuts? Because we're having a friends and family donut day. I love donut day. The best part is, is it's for everyone. Oh, that reminds me. I need to count all the donuts to make sure I have enough for everyone. My friend Hayden is bringing six people, so I'll need six donuts for them. Manny is bringing three people, so I'll need three more donuts for them. Miss Kathy Sue has a big family, so she will need nine donuts. This is gonna be a great party. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? This looks like fun. It seems you have donuts for everyone. Hi, Ollie. I sure do. We're having a friends and family donut day. Three of my favorite things. Friends, family, and donuts. Friends and family are special. It's true. Having them around is good for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Oz got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> well, hello, friends. I'm Aisha. Welcome to my cupcake food truck. I'm so happy to see you today. Do you want to see my latest cupcake creation? Ta-da! <laughs> These are my donut cupcakes. See, each one has a little donut on top because I do not want you to forget that God is good. <laughs> In fact, today's story is about something really good that God gave us. Are you ready to hear it? If you're ready for the story on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, Three, tell me a story. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible is about a man who was thankful for the friends and family God gave him. This man's name was Moses and his brother's name was Aaron. They were part of a special group of people called the Israelites. They loved and followed God. One day, some people who did not follow God came to attack the Israelites. Everybody say, oh no, oh no. But Moses knew that God would help them. So Moses held up God's staff. Can you pretend to be like Moses and hold your arms up high? Great job, keep them up. Moses held up God's staff and the Israelites started winning the battle. But uh oh, look. Moses' arms are getting tired. Are your arms getting tired? You can put your arms down now. When Moses put his arms down, the Israelites started losing. Oh no! But when Moses held his arms up, arms up, the Israelites were winning again. You can put your arms down now. But Moses couldn't put his arms down. Moses had to hold his arms up for a really long time. They started to get so tired, he needed help. So his brother Aaron and his friend, her, came to help. They brought a rock over for Moses to sit on and then they held up his arms so that God's staff would not come down. And look, the Israelites won. I'm sure Moses was very thankful God gave him friends and family like Aaron and her to help him he wouldn't have been able to keep his arms up without them. God gives each of us friends and family too, and we can help one another. We can look at our friends and family and say, God is good. Say it with me, who is good? God is good. <gasps> hey there, Ollie, tell me, who is good? God is good, yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is good? God is good. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. 
God gives you friends and family to help you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. It's awesome that God gives us friends and family to help us. God is good. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I wonder how I can show my friends and family that I'm thankful for them. Hmm. Oh, I know. I can make sure everyone gets their favorite donut on Friends and Family Donut Day. Bye! Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Psalm 107.1 Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Psalm 107.1 one. 